So this is my plastic bending machine. The power supply came in. All I have to do is crank some voltage and let there be light. I can't wait to get started on this. Oh shit. Welcome to the shop, come on in. And there's a few things we need to do. The first thing we have to do is shorten the length of the ABS plastic. This side skirt on my car is exactly 74 and 5 8 inches. So let's cut down the plastic real quick and move on to the next step. Okay, we cut the plastic. What? <laughs> Here. We have the side splitter Mark II. I'm gonna take quick measurements. So this top piece and this piece right here. I need to measure that as one because it's only one piece of plastic. Let's do that right now. Two inches? Not so a two inch top. Mm. Yep. And a one seventh eighth side. So that's when this saw comes in handy. Right about there, correct? Boom. Now, once we start cutting, we can't go back because we're gonna lose valuable plastic if we mess up. So, we did the main chops. Now, we are left with six strips. It allows us a little bit of room for error. For the side splitters. So real quick, before we leave the shop, I just wanna give a huge shout out to my brother and the company he works for, Garden State Discovery Museum. Cause without him and them and this big shop, none of these shop builds will be nearly as possible. And since we're here, let me show you something quick that my brother's working on. So he builds little art exhibits, like interactive art exhibits for kids. You can move these little things closer and further apart. And there's two magnets here. Right off the bat, you could build a little magnet chain. But the idea is, as you get further, it's gonna get harder to do so. So let's start with that. And then let's try to... Oh, there you go, look at that. I made a magnet bridge. <laughs> Just little cool trinkets like that. And check this one out over here. He's also an insane woodworker and metal worker. If you look closely at this tabletop, it's actually an old bowling alley. You can see the, the arrows for when you're bowling. He's turning that into a tabletop. And check out those, check out the stands. It's going to be an insane table. It's just cool creative stuff like that that I really enjoy seeing my brother do. So thank you very much, Nick. Thank you, Garden State Discovery Museum, for letting me do my work in here. Let's head back to the house and finish these side splitters. The weather has taken a turn for the worst. And you know what's weird? There's footprints on my roof. Hmm. Oh. So we're back at the house. When I put these things to the table saw, it made the edges a little bit furry. You. you want to help me? Yes. You see these little pieces? Yes. Can you pick them off for me? These little things on the edge. Yup. Flick it off, just like that. So now you can see that the edge is nice and flat. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, we are now entering the creation phase. So before I start wasting the few little slivers we have, I want to test this machine on another piece of plastic just to get my bearings, just to see how long I kind of have to keep it heated up for and to see how this is going to go. So, uh... Let's get this started. Turning on the voltage. You might see a little smoke, but that's because there's so much dust and hair in the channel. Let's crank this piece. All right, so I might've went a little long because there's a bit of a texture on the outside, but it works. Yeah, buddy! I think I blew the fuse. Oh no. <sighs> well, this is not good. Not good at all. I think I blew this fuse and I have no clue where to get one. Crap, crap, crap. I apologize for the lack of lighting and the whispering. My girlfriend is currently sleeping. So after I blew a fuse physically and mentally, I was still set on making these DIY aggressive side splitters for my Subaru Impreza. So I called my buddy Vince. Oh. 
Damn. My bad, Bowler. So earlier today, my fuse broke and I went and bought a fuse that's not the same, but I think it's gonna work. So what I need you to do is help me hold this plastic perfectly still as I bend it so that the angle does not change at all. Can you help me with that? Yeah, you got it. Let's get it done. All right, let's see what we can do. See, this is why having a friend like Vince is something we all need to do. So he decided to bring a couple pieces of wood into the mix for extra support. Mine's coming out. That's good. That's exactly what I need. First one came out super nice. It's bending a little, but when you get it up to the car, it'll flatten out. Very good. And the edge isn't even burnt. The edge is super smooth on this one. Grab. Yeah, thanks for the help, man. Yeah, man, anytime. Can I hit a little brap brap? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Have a good night, dude. Thank you. And my neighbors hate me. I love that car, dude. I love that car. So as I was riding the high from successfully bending two seven feet long pieces of ABS plastic, I decided to draw out the phalanges. As you can kind of see here, I drew out both phalanges on one piece of plastic so that I can kill two birds with one stone and only have to bend the plastic once and then cut out the phalanges. After that, the creation of the side splitters was complete. I still have to prep them for paint and everything, but check these out. These two pieces will be trimmed on the inside so that the texture you see will only be about one to two inches. And then I'll be riveting them in with black rivets. It's gonna look so clean. Other than that, these things are ready to be prepped and painted. So it's pitch black outside right now and my ISO is at like 102,000. So there's gonna be a lot of noise, but it's about two o'clock in the morning. I just finished creating the splitter before paint and everything. I want to show you what it's going to look like when it's on the car. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Look at it, babe. What do you think? Look nice, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Are you gonna record? I did. Oh. So I know you couldn't really get a good angle from the video I shot. It was two o'clock in the morning. It's now five o'clock in the morning and the video has to be uploaded in four hours. In the next video, you'll see me paint them. You'll see me install them and I will give you the montage that these aggressive side splitters deserve to have. Don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back with a new video next Wednesday. Until then, watch all my other videos, get caught up. And I'll see you next week. Peace.